Roberto, hello. Nice to see you again. Can we start with the injuries, please? Um, obviously, Webster, Ferguson, Ansu Fati and uh, Barco didn't figure it. So Brentford, are they OK this weekend? Uh, Ansu Fati and Barco, yes, they are available uh, on the squad. Uh, Webster, Ferguson, uh, um, Gilmore and the old injuries players, uh, Mitoma, Marce, they, they are not available and they can't play. Just on Ferguson, he's a player who's um, actually been linked to, uh, with Arsenal and some big clubs recently, even though he's only started 15 Premier League games this season. Is he a player you want to keep uh, in, the, in the summer? Un giocatore che vuoi tenere Ferguson in estate perché è stato collegato a grandi squadre nonostante abbia solamente fatto 15 apparizioni in Premier. But listen, I don't know uh, the plan of uh, the next year, the next season. Uh, Ferguson is still an important player for us. He's very young and... Uh, uh, if you are so young, you can you can suffer some period and other uh, play play well because in the the first part of the season he scored a lot of goals and uh, we knew before the season uh, he could uh, play not all games in the first eleven but we are happy for him and we we are lucky to have uh, a lot of young players in, of this level, like uh, Ferguson, Facundo Buonanotte is the same, Culio uh, Inciso is spending a, a tough period because after injuries it's always difficult to recover the, the best uh, physical condition, and uh, we are Brighton and we accept everything. When you played uh, Arsenal back uh, in December, you said afterwards they were the best team in the Premier League. Yes. Do you still think that? Yes, is uh, w one of the best. Liverpool are uh, another uh, uh, great team, different characteristic, different characteristic of the players, different style. City is close with the with the style of uh, Arsenal, but I think when Arsenal play well. It's very tough for uh, for all. You can uh, you can understand my words because Arsenal won three one against Liverpool, uh, won against City at home. Uh, in Champions League, they are doing uh, very well. And yeah. what uh, do you like about Arteta as a manager? But he's a. He's a great manager. Uh, I have big respect for uh, for um, his job. Um, his style is clear. Um, they play always with a big intensity, uh, with courage, and he's a he's a great manager. At the end of last season, you won at the Emirates 3 0 and, and wrecked their title hopes. Can you do it again on Saturday? But we would like to win the game because we want to keep this, uh, we want to improve the level of the table, the, the place of the table. Mm, last season uh, uh, is another history, is, uh, was another history. This season is completely different. Uh, we. I think we have the 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 qualities to to fight to reach another season the the, the European position the European target is tough because there are a lot of teams uh, from Fulham until uh, Man United uh, the, the, is very short the the table uh, we can reach or we can't I don't know. But for sure, uh, we have a uh, we have the ambition to to reach another another season. That yeah, and, and last night Chelsea, an incredible game. They won. They're on uh, 43 points with Brighton now. It is going to be a fierce fight, is, isn't it, for European football? How confident are you about getting European football again? But I am positive. I I believe to to reach the European position because uh, because I 
I believe in my players and I know their qualities, their uh, human qualities. I know if we we can prepare the game uh, one week, uh, we can compete with uh, every team in Premier League because we did that last season and before the European uh, um, competition started at the beginning of the season and before the the, uh, injury, the the injuries players five games for a uh, win just finally um Verbruggen has played the last four games is he now your your number one is there no no doubt about that no, but tomorrow Verbruggen plays. Uh, I I follow to manage the keeper uh, as uh, I I've done um, the, f the the last part of the season. But uh, tomorrow Verbruggen plays. He's playing very well. He's improving a lot. But I I can't forget. Uh, uh, Jason, because if we played the uh, Europe League this season, mm, a big uh, credit is uh, uh, is uh, of Jason. Thank you, Roberto. How difficult is it for Jason? Because obviously you were rotating around and round, and now he's not playing at the moment. I guess he is very experienced, but how is he coping with? But that? I think it's not difficult. They have to. Uh, But uh, I, I could change one one keeper for a uh, Premier League, one keeper uh, in uh, Europe League. I didn't want to change uh, so clear uh, because uh, I I believe uh, in both, but because they are a different keeper. Now uh, Bar Bart uh, is improving is improving in uh, build up. And uh, he's becoming uh, great, but uh, Jason as well played very well, especially in the first part of the season. They, he gave us a lot of points in the, in the first part of the season. And as well, Bart, he made a lot of mistakes in, against Bournemouth, against uh, Liverpool at home. But uh, we believe in Bart. I think Bart can can reach a, a first level of football, European football, because he's uh, amazing. But anyway, I, I don't I don't like forget what the my what my player did in the past, and I I usually give respect uh, also in my decision. In terms of Arsenal. Um, do you, what are you expecting from their approach to the game? Obviously, the way they played against Manchester City was a distinctive way of playing. Yes, but I I read I read in the Arteta interview and he explained very well what they they did in uh, in uh, Etihad Stadium. Uh, I I wait for them aggressive, like. Uh, the Arsenal game, they they have a clear style with with ball without the ball, and um, I think uh, can be a, a a good good game to watch. They have a lot of exciting attacking <coughs> players. They also have Leandro Trossard coming back to the Amex. What have you made of his performances since he's left you? I think he's playing. Well, mm, he's not playing uh, so many times in first eleven, but uh, he's a great player. Uh, he was a great player with us, and uh, he's still a great player with Arsenal. Uh, in Arsenal, there are a lot of uh, very important attackers: Sak Saka, Martinelli, Havertz, uh, uh, Gabriel Jesus, uh, uh, Ketia, Nelson. But anyway, he, he, he's still a very important player. The home form has been very good this season. Maybe a few draws rather than wins. But how important with these home games coming up is that going to be for your push for Europe? Yes, um, at the moment uh, we played uh, 
we played always very well at home. Uh, I think we we could win more games. Fulham, uh, Wolverhampton, uh, Sheffield, uh, Barley. Uh, we made uh, too too many draw, and for it uh, we have uh, eight, ten, six points left less than uh, we we could uh, we could make. And in terms of Europe. You have to play Chelsea, you have to play Newcastle, you have to play Manchester United. Is it better to have that in your hands? If It's better if we win. I don't know the result before the game. Uh, for sure, our uh, all uh, emotional game is, uh, is, um, is nice to compete against Newcastle, uh, Arsenal tomorrow, Newcastle and St. James's Park, especially because I think he's one of the best stadium and best atmosphere in Premier League. Uh, but we are focused on our, our target.